Hi everyone, this is an energy read video for mid-April 2023. Just a quick aside, if you listen to me for updates on travel to the USA, I haven't had any new information since my last video. Um, it's still likely but not definite that everyone can travel there on the 11th of May. Um, they're not giving much information away, but I'm checking daily and I will make a video update when we get some definite news because I don't want to mislead anyone with um, inaccurate information. Okay, so back to this video, which is an energy read. I'm going to start with the astrology and we've got two main themes at the moment. First one is transformation and the second one is new starts. So transformation is all down to the big shifts we had in the planets in March. We had Pluto moving into Aquarius, Saturn into Pisces and Mars into Cancer. So conditions have changed in a big way and they are changing. We're going through a process. Pluto is the big one because it shifts signs only every 15 to 20 years. It's the planet of transformation. So this was the first move since 2008. Reflect on something you may have started around then. That could be the focus um, <clears throat> of change. And also think about the version of you that started around that time. That version of you could be evolving into something else now. So we're in the middle of a three-month taster of Pluto in Aquarius. It's in Aquarius till June, and then it goes back into Capricorn. Um, but it moves back and forth, really, between the old and the new sign and the old situation and the new situation we're evolving into until the end of November 2024. So um, I'd allow until then to fully move into the transition that you're planning at the moment, whatever that is, some sort of transition you're either working through or working towards. And see that as a positive. Don't see it as being fully kind of a done deal until um, the end of next year. You've got this time now to examine and analyze your next kind of stage of who you're going to be. Um, what else? So that's the transformation. The second theme is new starts. So <clears throat> we've got a new moon and it's also a new moon solar eclipse at 29 degrees of Aries. That's on the 19th or 20th of April. If you're in the States, it's Pacific time, 9, 12 p.m. And if you're in the UK, it's on the 20th at 5, 12 a.m. What's interesting about this is we've had two new moons in the one sign. The last one was about four weeks ago at zero degrees of Aries. So this is all pointing towards new beginnings. Um, new starts, taking action and dynamism, they're all the qualities of Aries. And this second um, new moon in the one sign is like another push along this road of this new thing you've started. It's like it's saying, right, that thing you started four weeks ago, did you start it? How's it going? What do you need to do next? And it's also saying if you were thinking about something and didn't quite get it going, now is really a good time to do that. Um, 29 degrees is also the end degree of each sign. So yes, it's a new beginning, but there's also a big ending happening as well. So we're moving towards something, but also think about what you're leaving behind. The general thing with eclipses are that they're big shifts. They bring about revelations and new moon eclipses are about the future. So they show us where we're going. They're very powerful, intense times. So just be aware of that if you're feeling a little bit shaken up around the eclipse. Um, as I said, solar eclipses are about the future. They're a start point. It's all about being open to the new. And it's worth being aware that the day after, so on the 21st of April, is 
um, Mercury retrograde. So we are in shadow at the moment. We have been for about the past two weeks, but that's Mercury retrograde. So again, that should be viewed as a positive. Little annoying things I know do happen during Mercury retrograde, but it is the best time to reflect on what you need and where you're going rather than rushing ahead too much. One other aspect of this solar eclipse new moon is that it's square Pluto. In astrology, squares represent challenges and Pluto is the planet of um, unconscious drives and transformation. So try not to be too controlling, try and let go of the need to control things, even if you're not sure where they're heading. Just start what you need to or want to start and allow it to flow where it needs to go and try not to get in the way of that process too much. <clears throat> Okay, so that's the astrology. Let's move on and have a look at the cards I've pulled for the new moon eclipse. Um, so they really mirror the messages from the astrology as well. First card that came out is Major Arcana, the magician. And I just said, wow, this is such a good card to start with. So this is the card of magic and manifestation. It's a really positive card, particularly for new endeavors um, that you're probably undertaking now. This card reminds us that we have everything we need for success within us already. He's got the four suits, the symbols of those on the table, the pentacle, cup, sword and the wand, and they represent the four elements. And he's pointing to the heavens and the earth. And this is that message of as above, so below. So he's calling on the energies of the universe during this eclipse to make his desires real and manifest them on earth. This is a really good card for pursuing a new career or a new direction in your career. And it's saying like the Aries new moon, take action towards making this happen. This is an action card. Um, intuitive message here, don't be in fear or in doubt about um, this new endeavor. Don't think, oh, it won't happen or it's just a dream or there aren't enough opportunities, or it just won't happen for me. That's just self-sabotage. It's not really what's going on. So the magician's reminding us that belief is powerful and reminding us you've got opportunities now to manifest your dreams and your goals and your hopes as something concrete that will grow and that will flourish like all the vegetation pictured in this card. That's what that symbolizes. So, nice message there. The other message I'm getting through just as I'm speaking here is to keep very focused and avoid distractions. So know what the things are that distract you and waste your time because you're going to have a lot to do at the moment. This endeavor you're undertaking will take time and focus and energy and you want to put as much as you can into being productive. Okay, second card I got is the Two of Pentacles. Pentacles is, um, it represents Earth, so it's all about daily life, work, study, practical things. And Two is about balance. So this is saying that at the moment you're juggling two major things. And the main message is to just focus on those two things and not too many other things. Put your focus completely on these two things and you will be able to manage them both. It may be the old and the new that you're juggling throughout this time of transition. So we come back to focus to keep them both going and ticking along and spinning. Keep your focus, keep balanced and keep centered so that you don't drop them. And the things you're balancing may be like your old work, and some new work that's coming in, a new job, could be work and study, could be work and home. It could be work and a hobby that's like work, which may be taking over more and more to become like work, or just any two projects um, would be different for everybody. <clears throat> the thing I notice here as well is the infinity sign. So in Magician, he's got one above his head and our two of pentacles man has that infinity around the pentacles so it's kind of a general image in the tarot but your infinity is saying there are no limits there's no beginning and end so there's just this constant flow 
timelessness, um, perhaps sort of moving towards that sense of wholeness and balance and flow in your life. Um, what else? Two of Pentacles. What it's saying is that you may be doubting that you can balance the things that you have to do now that you're undertaking new things. So it's just saying, yes, you can do it. You may feel like those waves in the background, that sort of choppy sea with the two ships. But if you look at them, they're both staying afloat. Okay, they haven't tipped over, they haven't gone, gone under the water. So it's I mean, it's a minor arcana card, so this is more to do with daily life. It will really just feel like the normal ups and downs of daily life. And when you look at the man there, it's not getting him down. He's got one foot up like he's dancing. So he is managing both things and he's doing that with a cheerful and positive attitude. So try and cultivate that during this time. Okay, so it will be a time of hard work. But then these last two cards are pointing to the rewards at the end of it. So they're both nines. First one is the nine of pentacles. Pentacles representing, again, material things. And this card, material success. So this card's always about enjoying the fruits of your hard work. And the outcome of that time in the two of the pentacles doing that balancing act. So this card is always about success and prosperity and it points to abundance and material wealth. Um, and it's suggesting a feeling of security and freedom that will come from achieving what you achieve um, with the things you're working through at the moment with this two of pentacles. So um, yeah, the, the hard work and the focus and the self-discipline you put into play will pay off. Um, and then we've got the nine of cups and this is a card of emotional fulfillment, cups being um, emotions. And again, it's pointing at the new initiative you're working on. It won't just be materially fulfilling, but also it will bring you emotional fulfillment. Sometimes this is called the genie card. So it's all about fulfillment of dreams. So this is all really positive. Um, it doesn't come through doing nothing. It does come through some hard work, but you know, just keep going and you will get there. So very simply, this last card is just saying things will go well. Um, it will bring a feeling of happiness and peace um, through successfully achieving your desires and achieving your goals and achieving the things that you're working really hard for. Nine of Cups is also a really good card for relationships. So that is a really positive message today, I think, for the Eclipse. I hope you found it helpful. Um, thank you very much for listening and I will be back again soon.